Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to World Warships Operations here with Aegis one of the last ones we're doing in this kind of operations mini-series uh, we've got a take an enemy convoy who where our transport ships have been taken we need to take it back um, and this cool, it's, it's cool skies and cool map so yes we need to destroy it recapture our old ships and escort them to their destination because um, presumably our supplies, you know, our rations have all been taken by enemy forces. We need to get back and support the war efforts. That's what we're going to do now. I really like this like line of rocks. It's really very cool. I'm actually kind of going slightly the wrong way. Let's maybe not get hit by that Bismarck. Um, in terms of ships, we've got two Bismarcks, King George's Fifth, and that's myself. Baltimore, a Whitaker, an Edinburgh, and a Helena, or Helena, I suppose I should say. Helena is a weird way of saying it. And of course, we do also have a couple of friendly ships as well. We've got the Shores. And probably a couple of others as well. But here we go, here's the enemy convoy coming into sight. Let's start the process. We've lost that Miyoko, it's moving very fast. Um, very fast indeed, my word. We probably want to actually switch back to high explosive purely because I, you know, high explosive is a, is a lot better. If, our ship is a lot better with high explosive. That, are we going to crash into that Edinburgh? We're definitely going to crash into that Edinburgh, aren't we? Let's see if we can steam out of the way to ensure that we don't. This is a really cool looking map. I really approve of the way this looks. This is very cool. I'm actually going to think focus on that Fuso because that's got a lot of health. Got there. Then this convoy is moving at quite some speed. Um, let's see if we can catch the rear of it. We did slightly. Not enough to make it go on fire, but that's okay. But I do like this kind of convoy ambush. This is quite fun. <laughs> See if we can finish off that Kitakaze. If you know, even if I don't, someone else will, I'm sure. But we did get it. the kill. Wonderful. Tier nine um, destroyer. That's pretty snazzy. Okay, there's Akazuki over there. Let's see if we can start the process. This is a really cool ambush. I, I really enjoyed this as a as an operation. This is one I don't think I've actually ever played before, even kind of in my own time. So this is very cool. Oh, hello, Kagero. Let's deal with you if we can. And also, because the way the lighting is, the um, <laughs> the, sh the shells look really cool going into it. We're just going to stay here for now. I'll I want to keep that Fuso on fire. Let's go like there. That should do well. Oh, I might have... I definitely misjudged the speed there a little bit. A little bit too fast, never mind. I'm a little concerned by these destroyers, so let's just see if we can finish them off. So that we don't have any issues with torpedoes, etc. Thankfully, the Kagura is dealt with. Oh, we have some ships over there. Okay, me and the Bismarck are going to have to, I think, change fire. Now that Shores is being very dramatic in charging in. I don't know if he's going to survive. Uh, no, he's not. So that's a secondary task failed. And uh, we're going to need to start moving to deal with this, uh, to deal with these ships on the other side. Uh, the Bismarck needs to start moving, otherwise he's going to be in real trouble. Um, I've got to wait for my guns to swing around, but if the Bismarck's not even going to move, I'm really concerned he's not going to survive. They are mostly destroyers. So we'll see if we can lend a hand here. You know, if, we, if me and this Bismarck can hold the rear action guard, that's probably all that we need, but still... Oh, that wasn't even that wasn't even the convoy. My word, <laughs> I thought that was the convoy. It's not. <laughs> I should really probably be using armor piercing. It's okay. We'll switch off to armor piercing now. Well, two fires, then we took a big hit there. I will heal that up. But this is man, this is a tough operation. There's a lot going on here. Although a lot of them are just kind of cruisers, not. Um, battleships, per se, which is nice, but still. Let's go to that for attacker. Oh, that was a big hit we just took there. My concern is that these, um, oh, goodness me, let's get behind this island, try to provide some cover for ourselves. I think because these, um, a lot of these ships are actually higher level than ours, actually managing to do some pretty damn good damage to us. Please leave me alone. Thank you. We're going to hide behind this island for all that we're worth. And try catch them on the other side. So we're going to stop here. All stop. All stop. 
Ooh, that has not been an ideal engagement for us, that's for sure. And I think any... I think sh the Shores, which were the ones which would actually be able to heal us up, uh, is dead, so, which is not ideal. Uh, but we do have still three heals, so we should be able to heal back a decent amount of health. Um, and we will do so as soon as the opportunity arises. Um, we seem to be doing okay. Um, certainly I don't know if my ship personally has contributed that much to this engagement, but I'm not going to say no to the fact that we're still alive. Okay, we're going to follow the two piss marks. Okay, I don't really want to be the one first in line, to be perfectly honest with you. But we can start going after that Mogami over there, I would say, once everything lines up. Let's go there, that might be a little bit too far ahead. Okay, we will acknowledge. Um, I don't know if it's just these ships. I kind of feel like there's going to be more coming in after us. Apologies, Edinburgh, I didn't mean to get in your way. Okay. We can still heal up a little bit more. We can probably get ourselves back up to about 35,000 realistically. Oh, I probably misjudged the speed on you quite a bit, but we still got 4,000 off. So, yes, yeah, so we're going to get some. Well, I think we'll manage to take these ships, but it's whether we'll be able to take them back afterwards is another question. We're going to switch back up to the High Explosive for a little while. High Explosive is where the British battleships have their strength, their advantage. So we should really make use of it. Although these are only cruisers, so probably I could get away with using armor piercing, to be honest. Wow, that was horrible dispersion, but that's okay. We still managed to incapacitate the relevant bits. Um, I think I'll support this Bismarck on this flank because I think that convoying ship 3 over there is going to get some massacred so we'll see if we can have this Bismarck over here instead we're going to heal up again we need all, really all the heals we can get go after you because you're showing a nice flat broadside you know we're using high explosives so you know we may not do that well the 6000 we set a fire got rid of some of these torpedo tubes I'd say that's a positive all things considered Okay, we need to go after ship 4 and ship 2 here, and I'm guessing we're going to be uh, assaulted from behind, I would imagine. We'll go after ship 2, just because I think we've got a better angle on ship 2 than we do ship 4. Another bit of damage, but nothing major. We should be able to finish off this Megami, and I think we're going to need to turn around to get them to their destination, so I might start that process now. See if we can get the kill, sadly not. <laughs> So these escort transport ships out of the zone, they actually need to go over there, that's interesting, 70 kilometers away. The order. Enemy convoy destroyed, ensure the secure withdrawal of the ships. We've got three battleships coming in for us, the Yushi, the Senshi and the Kosotsu, I want to say. I might have said that wrong to be honest, but <laughs> hey ho. <laughs> ah, and here they are. Quite far away at the moment, but that's not always going to be the case. We'll try to use these islands for a little bit of cover. Okay, we managed to repair pretty much all of our health, which is nice, although we now no longer have any more repair kits. Or just kind of self repair modules, I should say, not repair kits. I mean, a completely different frame of mind for, for a different game. We are kind of crashing into the islands, so let's stop that. I need to get a Amagi, but I need to just get a little bit close. He's still a little bit too far away to justify firing. Come on, you're, ne you're nearly within range. I can only shoot about 21.7, so I really need to just get a little bit closer, sir. I kind of burned this a little bit too early, to be honest. Let's go... now. There's also those ships over there, wonderful. Interesting dispersion on those shells, but hopefully a few of them can set a fire if nothing else. No, no fire, but we did get a good uh, salver off of maybe 4,000. Okay, I want to keep going after that Amagi because that is a strong battleship that we really don't want to 
have caused any trouble for us. That Bismarck is in a little bit of trouble over there. We've also got the Nagato, the Senshi and the Yushi over there. Uh, so we'll push forward a little bit, because we're still a little bit further away. We've just lost our first ship, the Whitaker there. Uh, Whitaker? Wichita? Wichita? I don't know which tree that's from, to be honest. Let's keep going after that Amara gate. There's a couple of Nagatos over there as well. And we've just lost our Bismarck as well, which is not ideal. Uh, so we're going to have to speed up. This might be a failed mission, we'll have to see. Uh, but we've lost one of our two battleships and I'm a little bit too far out of the engagement to really be able to do much here. So we'll have to catch up as soon as we can. Let's keep you off that Amagi. We just need to get the transport ships out. We don't necessarily need to save all of them, but we need to save enough of them. I think that's the main thing. So I don't... I think that Bismarck is kind of trying to do a, a sacrificial rearguard action, which is important. Um, but, you know, how these things, you know, whether we will actually get all the transport ships out is another question. We will get, I think, some of them out, but it's definitely been uh, a tough operation. But one I've really enjoyed, I've really enjoyed this one. It's kind of fun ambushing a convoy. And trying to deal with the consequences of that afterwards. Okay, let's deal with these uh, Miyokos, the Kardu, the Kabu, and the Kabi. We've taken out one of the Amagis. Wonderful. Let's go for you because you're a little bit closer. Oh, I don't know if we can. Okay, we just lost the Edinburgh. We're about to lose the Bismarck over there as well. My concern is the two Nagatos are going to more than able to be able to reach me, I think. So really, at this point, I think we just need to try leave with the remaining ships we have. That Bismarck is a unfortunately a lost cause. Not a lost cause, but I don't think it can really be saved. He's going to die there now, absolutely. He's still on fire. That Nagato will go down. Wonderful. So we're going to focus on these ships closer by. As long as we can get the transport ships out, that's all that matters. It's just me and... The Baltimore and the Helena left. You're going to probably die to fire damage, so I don't particularly need to worry about you. Let's actually focus on the Carbu over there. Operation complete. Transport ships have left the action zone. Wonderful. So, at a loss, at a cost, but we did manage it. Oh boy, about half our ships went down there against some very, very tough opposition on Prussian Air just there. Actually, the quickest one we did, the transport ships got there very quickly indeed. 49 target hits, 7 incapacitations, 1 destroyed, 3 set on fire. About 87,000 credits, 976 XP and 116 free XP. I imagine we're fairly near the bottom, as expected we are. Um... I mean, we're the, actually the, 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 the three remaining ships, uh, are the, also the lowest ranked, but that's okay. Um, that Bismarck there by Inwao did a great deal. 1600 XP, uh, got assistant, as did the other Bismarck. As, and, you know, you, you can tell that those guys were pretty good. But also, we were slightly lower ranked, so I'm not too um, upset about that. We did a lot of damage to that Amagi. As well as, you know, a good amount to all other ships, all things considered. Um, but yes, that has been the World Warships Operations Aegis. And that is the last of the World Warships Operations for the time being. I may well do the submarine one, but that requires some companions, you know, some division mates to, to team up with. Um, but I will still be doing lots of other World Warships content as well. Um, it, but it's going to be on a little bit of more of an unscheduled basis, purely because I'm only going to do them when I think I've got a game that I've played worth um, recording and kind of talking back over, as I did with that kind of King George V crack on the leash that I did a few weeks ago. So yes, thank you so much for watching. Um, more World of Warships to come at some point soon. Thank you for so much for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.